Here's what I want you to do. I want you to take your favorite archetype and now add Nico Minoru. Chances are it just got better because she is absolutely fantastic. We test her for hours today on stream. I am still testing her, but I wanted to get a fast video out there to you to let you know in the first couple of hours what my favorite deck was. And it was this. It was hands down the Dark Hawk variation of Bounce. Now, I have had success in Iron Man variations. I have had success in with and without Team Chavez. I have had success in a slew of different versions. This one though, felt really good. I'm gonna show you why with some gameplay here. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, inquiries, song lyrics, do not be afraid to ask. My name is Guest, also known as It's Guest Gaming. I'm the lead content manager over at ccghub.gg. And this, Nico's great. This is about to be awesome. Because now Nico's spell is locked in. So we're going to get an extra beast in our hand. On top of all of that, for free, zero, zero, zero. And pull his ass back up. Professor X. Good, another bounceable card. I mean, I could live with that. Ooh! So when Nico bounces, her ability then comes to continue and change. Only when she's on the battlefield does her ability lock in. That's fun. Okay. Ruin this. No. Let's ruin this. Bring that. Oh, look, in the dish. Oh, I was about to say. There we go and a time theater, which does nothing. Do you play your ca next card, destroy it and draw two cards. Jesus. Okay, so if we do this, this, Followed by this. Okay. Bishop and Mary and friends. Nico. Play the Black Widow. Draw two cards. Destroy the Black Widow. Bring back Nico another time. Oh, sorry, we bring back the hood. Because we don't have room for Nico. And then, holy hell, Batman. So, we gotta go... Six. Six. Forge. Misty. Korg. Bast. Okay, we can take over that typhoid. And we can take over that, that kitty pride. Woo!
Yo, we got three spells out of Nico Minoru on that. Holy crap. Oh, and we didn't even get Darkhawk, Angela, or Elsa Bloodstone. None of them. Jumping good. I mean, overall, first impressions, you know, like I said, first hour, she feels good. A lot more controllable than I thought. Come on. Ooh, got rid of your red spell, though. That's nice. Bass, Nico, Korg, Chavez. All on turn six. <clears throat> Just give me. Is this for real? That means nothing right now, but... Is Nico a good card? Francesco, um, at the moment, I'm going to say yeah. She feels good. We tried her first in the Phoenix deck. I like it, but I need some work on it for me to feel more comfortable with it. The bounce deck, like... To me, the bounce deck feels like a much better home. I didn't have any soda, so I have apple juice. Just to get a little sugar rush. Little Vanellope von Schweetz going on. <sighs> Do we bast? Do we hood? Do we get? Do you play your next card? Give it plus two power. Play your next card. No, let's just bast. Can bounce later. Bounce it back into our hand. Let's first get the hood. Oof. Destroy it and draw two cards. Um, hood. Ne. 
Ninko will play Falcon, destroy Falcon, and get two cards. That could have been worse. Or better yet. Wait, no. Um, yes. Forge. Destroy you. No, we'll destroy you. Destroy you. And then play you. And then I'll wait to play you later. After. There we go. Play that down. Draw two cards, destroy that, get the Bloodstone. Now a five power hood. Let's pick it all up. Put down a Bloodstone. Uh, pick it all up. Bloodstone's added. All the ones in the hand that we can go. <laughs> Got him! Oh, that was a great dodge. Sorry, mummy. Woo. Okay. This will change the location. Then it will add the demon on top of it with a Korg and a Hood. No, the Bast. Wait, hang on. This gives plus three, minus two. So overall, the Bast gives me more power to play now. Because we're pulling Chavez next turn, right? So... This is a Thanos deck. What am I doing? One, two, and then just wait. I don't even care. Run. Yes. <laughs> Raptors for the win. That is the new version of the Rapture. Rapture? 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 I don't know. Such a bad joke. I don't even care. <laughs> that guy is pissed. Yelling. Let's go. <laughs> oh, man. Do I want a second, Angela? I like that idea. Brought some backstage passes, motherfucker. All right, let's go Sky Tight Gaming. You know, a second Bast wouldn't be the worst thing either. That's actually a better deal. Getting two Basts, skip a turn, skip a mana, and then do it for the second bit. Especially because we haven't even done any Bouncy Bouncy yet. Like that. So we can do... Do this. So nice. Zero, Ebony Ma. Right. Okay, so we know. Okay. Now we've got to do one, two, three. 
which will bring back one, two, three, four, five into the hand. But we're also getting the hood. So wait, maybe the other way around's better. We want this least. Yeah, that's what we want. Yeah, because that demon is our is our friend. Ooh, this question came up earlier. Science time. Nico science time. Do, 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 do. Nico science time. All right. What happens when Nico Minoru plays this spell into an armor lane? So we're going to go ahead and try to get this fast to destroy in this lane and then draw and draw two cards. I think personally that it's not going to draw two cards. Even though it reads destroy it and so they're separate actions. Let's see what happens. Nico, Bass goes down into the Angela lane. It can't destroy. So the, it is a then. It is an and then, even though it says and. It is an and then situation. If the card cannot be destroyed. No, no, no. You do not draw two. Oh. <gasps> now we know. Damn it. I was hoping you'd go the... Interesting. Didn't think you would sacrifice the mid. Thought you would have recast into the mid. No. You went boldy. All right. Well, now we know. That was a four science moment. amazing combos with this deck. Yeah, there's a lot of good ones with this deck. So far. Here, let's see. We're, let's see if it actually refreshes. There's there's no rock slide in this deck. No rock slide in this deck. Just Korg and the new Black Widow. Because obviously, if you're going to try to ramp the Darkhawk, all you need is the Korg. Let's start to nine turns now. Okay. No beast, but we can get this going, this engine going. Nico feels good in bounce. So far, I've liked it better in Bounce than I did Phoenix Force. But there's still tons of testing to go, though. Tons. Okay, so Bast and Hood. Let's do... Better yet? No, let's do it like this. Let's do one, two... No. One, two, three. There we go. Games and coming on down with the follow. Welcome on in. Thanks for joining us here on the guest list. Eagerly awaiting the video. I am too. I got a lot of work to do. Okay, so we finally pull Nico, get a copy of a car. We are definitely copying Darkhawk and then cranking. Okay, so we're going to go boom 
and boom. Yeah, Joker. I, I, I'm, I'm happy for it, too. Is it ready yet? Not yet. Okay. So now, now that we got the other Darkhawk, we go Darkhawk, Demon, Cork. Because that's loaded up. Thank you. Nico coming in for the win with the second Dark Hawk. Big play. Who needs Mystique? You got Nico on the third try. I got him on the second try. I got the, the crappy one, the tokens thing first. Then I got Nico. But then I went one more because I wanted the Phoenix Force stand hip, and I happened to get that on the third shot. So very happy. Very happy. Very happy. Super happy. Let's see. Now, now, we got to do a demon. Let's do demon, bast, falcon. Then we do, or Forge Falcon. There we go. It's the human face. You got the hip and then the kitty. The kitty's cool. I'm not 911 over using a resource for it, but it's cool. Okay. Forge, Bast, Falcon, Bounce, bow, 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 Bounce. You got all three cards today. I wanted the 1K tokens more. And then Kitty, because you have Eliath waiting. Ooh. I mean, Eliath opens a lot of new styles of decks. So it's a good thing to wait for. All right. Nico, next card you play becomes a demon. Great. We're going to turn the hood. Should we turn the hood into a demon? Or the bat? Oh, no. We'll turn Bast into a demon. Yes. Okay. So we got to do... Hang on. So we got to do Nico into Bast, which will hit the hood on turn five. And then Demon Forge. So the hood, the bloodstone, and the, and the cork's already beefed up, but that's fine. Okay. Stegron! That's fine. Could have been worse. Nico into Bast. Gives the plus threes. Nico turns the Bast into a demon. There's a demon who's going to kill Nico as Forge comes on down. Um, we need... Uh, man, I'm going to ruin this Forge piece, aren't I? Let's go with... Elsa, Black Widow, to keep alive the demon. And... Hood. And the Korg will drop from or Korg or Demon will drop from here. Because then the Black Widow will die first no matter what. And we still protect our demon on a third one, even if it's fully under is underneath. Ghost Spider pulls over Stegron because reasons. Spider-Man pulls Demon, not the worst thing in the world. I mean, we all got plus twos on that one. You drop down a cord. What are you clogged with? Spider-Man 2099. Awesome. Cool. So the question is, does... What does it? I think they need to fight for both of these. So I'm going to do that. Because part of me says, this is a move deck. This is a cha-cha slide deck, right? If this all slid over, the Iron Fist would go down. 
I could easily see a Heimdall here. It's a Spider-Man 2099 deck. And it's in their deck. I think this is because they had 2099 and Stegron in here. The only other thing I could project is like... Hey! We got another one on YouTube! I don't know what it was because I couldn't see it fast enough. I got to check on the other screen. All right, we're going with that. What do we got? And they ran the fuck away. Vision going to hit mid. Oh, that could have. That definitely could have. Hey. I can't see whatever the follow was, but thank you very much. Greatly appreciate that. Oh, Bunny ran away. If you understand that reference, you're a good person, by the way. 